What's up guys, so I just wanted to preface this video real quick. So basically, I was running super late to this race. Uh, so as soon as I get there, I go straight into registration, get signed up, we're good to go. When I'm walking back to my car, I see that my boots are not on my trailer anymore. I had strapped them to the trailer because they were wet and I needed them to dry. It seemed like a good idea. It wasn't a good idea, they fell off the trailer. And so I immediately jump back in my car. I'm driving down the road. At the first turn I get to, I see one of my boots. Someone had actually set it up on the side of the road. So yeah, I got one boot now. I drive like 15 miles back to town, never see the other boot. I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I just go back to the race. And um, as soon as I'm pulling in, my buddy Ben Fricks, he was just finishing his race. And he said I could borrow his boots. So I drive over, park the car real quick hop out, get all my gear on, some random guy driving by, I kind of told him what was going on, he unloaded my bike for me, I put Ben's boots on, good to go, the roads are literally starting already, like, my I was on the last row, so that kind of worked out, I pull up to the line, everyone's gone, my row's about ready to go, turn the GoPro on, and that's where things start, so here we go, let's do this. Welcome back everybody, we're jumping straight into it, Joe Anderson's taking the whole shot in the 40 B class, we're coming in hot, the bike is still cold though, we're heading straight off into the dust. I'm putting the moves on Chris Newsom and Monty Miller here, able to pitch them off as we go into the woods, and I'm falling in behind Nathan Welch here. YZ250X. This track was super tight. It's very narrow. It was, uh, yeah, probably a good thing that I wasn't on my 450 for this one. The dude on the KTM ends up letting Dave Welch by. I'm not sure who the guy on the KTM is, but I was looking to do the same coming up in the next turn here, I think. Yeah, sneak a move in on him. So, Justin Daughtry and Joe Anderson are out front right now. Joe Anderson's in the 40B class. I'm riding in the 30B class, though. So, Justin Daughtry's running out front in my class, first place. I'm looking to get by Nathan Welch here and make some moves up to the front.
We got people all over the place up here. I'm not sure who that is. Looks like he took a spill. Jenna Squire's doing a little dance. There's Justin Daughtry finally caught up to him. This was probably like 10, 10 minutes into the lap or so, 10, 15 minutes in. I think he was having some hand issues, riding a little tight. So he's running first, I'm running second. We're getting this race going. he wasn't feeling too fast for the moment and uh yeah let me buy and it's time to put some moves on and see if we can check out So my camelback was literally like all the straps were like falling down my arms the entire race. It was a little uh, annoying, I guess you could say, but gotta do what you gotta do. You can see just how tight it is back there. So this was coming around at the end of lap one. Justin's coming into frame right here. So he's chasing me down. I ended up putting through this whole turn track section. He caught up with me quite a bit. So this whole second lap here, Justin's just chasing right behind me. I can hear him the whole time. pressure on me to go. Coming through that ravine section again. This was a little bit more tricky than it seems on camera. I accidentally shifted to neutral there. Got it back down at first. Muscling through it. All the fans are waiting up here to watch people crash <laughs> because it's super wet and muddy coming up that hill and it's like roots everywhere and it's a little kicker so I'm sure people are going down right there.
This hill climb spot had a line up to the left where that guy went. I ended up taking that later in the race, but it took me forever to realize that that was a good idea. There's that rock. Woo! Oh shit! Almost out of collision. Kind of wheel tapped him out of the way there. Justin's right on my tail, just revving it out. I can hear that four stroke back there. That thing was super loud, that KX250. I missed the trail right here. I thought for sure I was going to get past. I think he ended up following me. And so it uh, kind of just worked out. You can see it's so tight back there. track section. slick out there but he's right behind me you can hear him bringing out my crushed two-stroke exhaust super mangled trying to put a good effort in here in the woods. I knew that uh, I had an advantage with a lighter bike in the woods here in this really tight stuff. So I was trying to just put a gap in between us. Coming up through here in the ravine section, I stayed in second gear this time and it just was not enough. And uh, I ended up making a big mistake right here. for now and try to put on a little little run and see if I can catch back up to him. Still not taking that faster line on the hill there. Whoa. Almost ran into Josh Day. I think that's who that is. So I was coming through here. Boom. No rear huh. brakes. No rear brakes at all. Ended up uh, falling over because of it and yeah. So that pretty much ended my run to try to get first place, but I ended up finishing in second, not too bad for the first race on the 250X. But when I'm collecting my medal at the end of the race for second place, I look over and my boot is sitting there because someone found it on the side of the road. So I got my boot back. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, that made the whole day way better. Saved a bunch of money. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Something broke. But if you enjoy this stuff, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, and come back for more. I'll see you guys at the next one. See ya!